Let's play Vicar here. This is a big day for R2. We are heading out to get R2's MOT done. Many of the global droid builders go, what's an MOT? How do you get an MOT for a, for a droid? Well, you go and meet with one of the UK droid builders who's designated as, a, as an MOT tester. They're checking uh, flex, uh, speed, wiring, is anybody going to get injured, Le electric shock? Is the droid going to drive off on its own? All of that kind of stuff. I don't know if we'll pass. I've never done this before. You know, I've gone down the list and I think everything is sorted. So we've got our two in. First time we've actually had him in the car, so this is going to be interesting. So come with me as we go and get our two um, MOT'd. I'm going to try and catch as much of it, much as, of it uh, as much of it as I can and then I'll do maybe a bit of a voiceover about what's going on and what we're testing at that point. I'm meeting an amazing guy uh, from the uh, Droid Builders Club, the R2 Builders Club here in the UK, who has offered to do my MOT today. So I really appreciate that. We're going to a, a fire station uh, out, just on the way out to Essex. So a little drive, but it should be fun. So here we go, come on a journey with us. Driving with R2 out in the back is quite an experience. Every bump I'm very aware of and uh, quite nervous for um yeah something shifting something breaking now you shouldn't do because it's all bolted together but you never quite know when it's your first little road trip out so this is i'm doing under the speed limit which uh i wouldn't say is the most normal um but yes slightly concerned by every sound of a possible bolt dropping or something like that. It's like, what is that? What's that? What's that? So holding my breath for the entire drive. So here we are. It, it's Gray's fire station that we're doing the MOT at. So I'm going to just walk you through what this entails. So uh, having taken R2 out, made sure everything's turned on. Uh, what we then do is walk through a number of structural, mechanical, uh, what have we got, the electronic and gadgets, as well as basic control. So what we're doing is we're looking, uh, what the MOT tester is doing is looking at, is R2 structurally sound? Uh, me mechanically, uh, is he sound? Uh, so, you know, is, is this safe? Electronically, is it sound? Uh, in terms of, yes, wiring, gauge of wires, uh, but also your battery, the kind of battery that you've got, uh, also your controller and some of the systems around, you know, if, uh, if the uh, controller dies, will R2 just drive away or will R2 just stop? So fail safes and that kind of thing. Uh, a part of it then is looking at the gadgets, the kind of gadgets that you've got. Uh, you know, some of the R2s can have gadgets where little zappers come out or little uh, kind of flamethrowers and that kind of thing. I have none of those things. So uh, that doesn't really apply uh, to, to my R2. Um, but uh, I have got the utility arms that open and close. Uh, you know, so are they safe? Uh, they're also looking for any catches. Is there anything sharp on R2 where children could uh, cut themselves if R2, uh, they were to touch R2, that kind of thing. Then, then basic control. So really it's a driving test. And you know, I made a joke, you know, when you do your driving test in England, um, you, you know, you have to prove yourself as a driver. That's kind of what you're doing here. Um, you know, we didn't have a uh, breathalyzer. Uh, I didn't have to walk a straight line to prove I was sober or anything like that. But you know, it's that kind of, are you in control of the vehicle? So let's just look at this structurally. So um, the MOT tester checks uh, a number of things. Overall structure is, is this solid. They check the left leg. They check the ankle joints and the shoulder joints. You know, are they strictly sound? Are they solid or are they going to pull away? And then they check the right leg and do the same, check the shoulder, the ankle, the foot, you know, going around just checking is everything connected properly and the, the central foot. Now, the central foot holds a lot of weight, so you've just got to know that that's nice and solid as well. They're also just looking at the frame. Uh, they're looking at the body of R2. They're looking at the dome rotation. You know, does it rotate freely or is it catching and that kind of thing? 
Uh, is the dome secure to the body or is it loose and will pull away? So that's the kind of thing that they're looking for structurally. Uh, then when it comes to mechanical, uh, they're looking at your setup, they're looking at your drive setup, what kind of, so, you know, I was asked questions like, what what kind of drive system have you got? Uh, I, uh, you know, I, you know, I'm using an RC control, a remote, remote control, to kind of talk through uh, those. They want to see how the domes span and, uh, and, you know, did that work or did it catch at any point? They want to see if the doors opened well. Now, my doors don't open electronically, with servos, I have to open them, and they're all locked down with magnets. So we're just checking to see if that's all secure. Uh, any wires? Uh, yes, no. Then when you come to electronical, they're looking at you know any wires that are seen can be touched. Uh, anything obvious electronically that can be touched? They want to know what kind of audio system that you have got. I'm using a Bluetooth system. So they, they want to check uh, that you're using the right power and load for the kind of batteries uh, that you've got, the fuses that you've got. One of the things we checked was if there was a failsafe for uh, R2 stopping uh, if the uh, remote control died. And yeah, what happens is if I turn my remote control off, R2 stops. Um, I don't know, the different setups allow different things around that. So R RC systems... Um, tend to work that way anyway uh, but it comes to the basic control so this is what was fun i had to prove that i had no driving issues a that r2 had no driving issues but that i had no driving issues so could r2 spin on the spot and then change direction while uh, spinning and and do the legs flex do they move outwards and inwards uh there i had to do some boomeranging so i had to drive forwards and do a u and then i had to go backwards and do a u shape uh, I had to do so front boomerang and reverse boomerang. Then I had to do a couple of figures of eight in different directions. I then had to do a, a 0 to 60 test, make R2 go as fast as he can, and then do a stop, emergency stop. You know, how far does he take to do emergency stop? My R2 takes about a metre and a bit to stop when as soon as I stop. Um, if I uh, would go as fast as I could and then pull the controller back, R2 does an even quicker emergency stop, and that's fine. Uh, and, and then this range test. So a whole bunch of drive, you know, having to drive uh, and show that you can navigate R2 well. So that essentially then is covered in the MOT. And uh, here you go. You can see me at the moment when I got awarded the MOT. Yeah, so there we go, MIT. Once that's done, all that is left to do is get some photographs of R2 from all angles to go on the R2 Builders website so you can see what R2 looked like during the MOT. I couldn't help then by quickly getting some snaps of me and R2 in the fire station. So R2 has passed his uh, MOT. Uh, over the moon about that nice little day day trip little trip that you know it's not been a day a few hours um nice little trip out for the first time with r2 getting to do it at the fire station was pretty cool as well i thought that was a, just a nice little place to go and do that nice and open little little spot really pleased really uh chuffed that r2 has passed and everybody's quite happy about it so now i can get r2 out and um add some events so watch this space for videos so thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff for more r2 content uh, other cosplay building stuff will be coming in the future as well um spent a lot of time building r2 so um there'll be more to come so until next time enjoy cosplaying and see you soon